it's too strong. Oh, you're too, yeah, you're made out of steel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's break out. is over a hundred thieves move to game and match series points championship point here for first strike north america oh my oh, goodness though through the smoke oh they're annihilating he does all that he can but it's simply not enough against a hundred thieves a hundred thieves they've done it they are your first strike oh, north america oh, oh, yes. oh, yes. Unfortunately, I think uh, the next qualifier is in like, I don't know, two weeks probably. Two weeks? Yeah. Don't really worry about Reddit at all. You probably should stay away because it's only going to make you pissed off. My suggestion is though, if somebody talks you take it to the chin and don't even bother responding. Literally, if uh, TSM or Sentinels or anybody talk we take it. You know, partially because we deserve it. I mean, it was it was a little bit of a surprise. Like, we should have been able to, you know, get over the hurdles of the first qualifier, like even qualifying for the closed, for example. I don't know if we did that. I don't think we even qualified for the closed. And it's like, you know, even without Nick, you know, surely the other four of us could have made it through and then we didn't. We could chalk it up to maybe we had too long of a break. We had a, a composition change in terms of our agents. We're missing Nick, who was on a controller and did a lot of like the anchoring stuff on defense. Um, brings a lot of experience, and it's just hard to replace that. No matter like how good, the, like unless you're replacing it one for one, almost it's it's going to be a hit. I still think like all of us going in, we're like, yeah, we're good without him. We'll be good enough. We'll do it. It's it's an open qualifier. How hard could it be? Oops. The due date for Mav was January 27th, and we had no idea when he was going to come. And ironically, he was born on his due date, which I think is like 4% of children in the whole world that that actually happens. It's not like difficult, but it's like a change, I guess, change of pace in terms of like having a kid and stuff. I was just going to say, like, him having a kid was less restrictive than your stream schedule, I'd say. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's like we're planning on doing practice. Can we get on a little bit earlier? We don't look at Nick and be like, yo, is Mav going to be like needing you? We look at Spencer and be like, yo, you done your stream yet? <laughs> you wouldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happened, but they have just not really shown up the way that you would have expected. Entire effort for 100 Thieves. Nitro finds a kill. Sick going to trade it right back in a 3v3 we go. They're starting to get mowed down. And it's all up to Hiko, but he can't clutch it out. I think from my point of view, we, we definitely kind of use Nick as, I don't want to say our excuse, but we kind of just figured, oh, Nick coming back, all of our problems were going to kind of go away that we had with John. And we also had kind of an identity crisis with Dicey when we brought him or when he when Nick came back where I believe for the first qualifier we had Dicey play Sage and then we went back to trying to do our old uh, first strike comp and have Dicey go back on Jet and you know the double duos comp that we were playing and a lot of the strategy that we were using for first strike didn't really work anymore people caught up and it felt like we were always going to be one step behind running the same strats that everybody already knew that we were running and again, I think we're just mostly excited to learn more about what 100 Thieves are going to bring to the table here with this new, not just roster, but also assumed composition as well. It's not very new in the case, like they've changed everything. They changed one member, but they've also changed two roles here in terms of adding Ethan into the team. It sounds weird to say that they're quite new because it's just one <laughs> yeah. player different, but I think adding just this one player has changed up enough on the team that 100 Thieves should, 100 Thieves rather, should have a pretty new look to the squad. It was not an easy decision for us to... Uh, even consider removing Quan because we did 
win a tournament with him. When the conversation came around and we were, you know, the, we were spitballing the idea of Ethan's people reached out to our people. Is there any interest here? We kind of had a talk and it just seemed like it was one of those things where we can't really let Ethan go to another team. I think his, his skill and his experience are just too high. Bang, pop, bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 pop, bang. Window. Wait. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, Ethan just not a player off? that we could turn down. And I think it's it's shown. Results not really... <laughs> results not proving Unlucky, my really. point. But I, I do think that having Ethan come in as Omen and Nitro Switch into Sage uh, taught us some things about our roster and our lineup and even our strategy that... I don't think we would have even accomplished if we didn't get Ethan. Why do I need to reload when I don't miss? <laughs> okay, we're done. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty funny. Joining the team, they, even before I joined or started practicing with them, they were super supportive and they let me know, like, we know you're completely new to this game and we're going to support you no matter what. There's no pressure right now, just kind of making me part of the team right away. So that was super helpful. Right, let's do this, baby. Come on. Geeko. So good with these shot guards. Can he be so once more? Tries to make the long peak, but he gets tagged up heavily. Does it even matter? Hiko, 1v1. Oh. Bang! Bang! Hiko for two. They have to go back for that one. Right now, they're pretty hard to miss. As soon as the thief again, as soon as go back. Three kills. And just play that high ground and pick them off. Now, Ethan does catch Corey getting a little overzealous. Not really a surprise. Ooh. Ethan! Quick shots coming out. Entire round. This entire time. Just sitting in the corner in the camera, he's got the dud! Oh. <laughs> nice! Well, he's from LA and he's driving me up. What? First of all, he's from Chicago, though. I'm from Chicago, okay? 20 years. You're living here and I'm an incredible driver. You just stopped <laughs> without any warning. <laughs> what, I got brake lights? car pilot. You want me to start bending? <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, welcome. I think the, there's a meme on the 100 Thieves Reddit that there's a compound diff. When we come to the compound, we play better. I don't know if that's, <laughs> that's necessarily true anymore. Definitely when we come to the compound, we're a lot more focused. You know, with the support staff we have, with our coach Hector, and especially our sports body mind specialist Edward, I think they do a good job of making sure we stay on track and we know our scheduling. We have, you know, set pickup time, set, you know, start time, end time. I think that's something that we don't really have to that level when we're online. We also have better internet here because of AT&T rather okay, than yeah. Cox. So. I personally think it's good. I think it's it's great to hang out with these guys in person, not just, you know, log on to practice, end practice, go to sleep, so. Oh, I'm recording. We are recording now. Wait, yo, what up? We're about to have a team dinner with the gang. Live, live on set, we are in an elevator. Ah, all right. Oh, whew. What are you doing, <laughs> Ryan? Right, yeah. not, not healthy. All right, we're getting into the hotel. Uh, thank you, thank you. We're gonna be going to bed soon. Bro, 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 bro. 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 <laughs> As you can see, the team has more energy when we're going back to the hotel than we did in scrims or bro. matches. Well, look at I'm dripped out. Hundred T. Oh. oh. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let's do this cleaner. Let's do this cleaner. Cut that out, editor. Right, let's start with my face. Yo, what up? Wait, let me. No, no, cut that out, cut that out. I didn't see my face. Uh, yeah, here we go. Yo, what up? Ah, clean. I have to be going to bed. We got a match tomorrow, so yeah. Here you go. I stopped this thing. I was just gonna add that uh, during first strike, we, we came twice, once during the qualifiers and then once for the main event. And we had a lot more time um, to like actually spend time together, do activities. Whereas when we came for this event, it was like, we finished the closed qualifier or the, the challengers three qualifier or whatever. And then it was like three two days later. later, we came here, like we played immortals and then we had a four day break or something like that. And then we played Gen G. We didn't have the time to, you know, 
have a beach day the first day and just have that, you know, time to, you know, just hang out straight to the cash app comp, bound straight to the comps and let's try to do something. It's like, okay, cool. Like, <laughs> Why? Where's Ethan gonna sit? No, he's sitting here. This yeah, is switching because I don't like this cold air and he loves it. Yeah, I need cold hands to play. You need cold hands to play? Yeah, because I don't like him sweaty and that's my mouse. It's like weird. He's a lizard. Last time I was watching them, I was just super impressed. We were talking about this earlier but, uh, by their icebox. I love kind of the way that Steel plays Killjoy, the way that he uses, uh, uh, the way he lurks with Killjoy on attack and uses the utility, the way he plays retake setups, all super, like, and if there's stuff that I've only seen from Steel. So, you know, what is it going to be this time? That's always the question for yeah. me. Dude, my Bucky is nice in this. I feel like we have too many drinks in between everyone here and uh, some collateral damage is happening. <laughs> 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 now, the mortals want to finish on this A site, and I wonder if these know about it, but can they stop it? Great nanoswarm coming through from Steel to slow things down. Ethan playing around the smoke when it looked like 100 Ds were going to be struggling. They find every frag the lurk from Nitro in mid as well. Nitro plays around the back boxes. Everybody's weak at this point. This swing from Nitro. This is going to be a hell of a match, dog. We're about to get into round one to see what this best of three can deliver. All right, I'm hot off of a PUBG win. Let's go. Let's get it. Understanding the aggression was going in the garage. He's going to push his way to A long and get a kill. Ethan follows up with one as Ooh. well. That party's coming. Great jump by him, and he will find six to start. That's going to be an opening. Oh. almost a three. Right on his right. He Whoa. has the angle. He has the kill. Take down the remaining member, Steel. What magic do you have in your hat? It's not going to be. Like, I didn't enough. expect, like, Immortals like to be that easy, to be honest, when we played them. Um, I thought they would be a lot harder because we haven't played them at all since we formed this roster and they're my old teammates. So I look highly up to them. So, which no discredit to them. They're really good. I just like held them up to maybe a higher standard. I don't know. Either way, we got a 2-0 there. And then Sentinel is not really a lot. Like we didn't know what to expect from them. They could either be the best team in the world, which they happen to be, or they could have like been a walk in the park, but they turned out to be the best team in the world. So it was a lot harder than expected because we had no footage on them or anything, so literally nothing. And before that, they like lost the map to LG and we destroyed LG, so it was really hard to like gauge them. Yo, what up? It's the morning. We played your NG at one o'clock Pacific. Gonna be gonna get some ranked games in before the, our match, and then we have the game. Forgot to trim my beard. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, high five. High five. Oh. Nice! 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 Nick! Nick! Nice! I can't believe it! No way! I was like, seconds, I couldn't wait! Any. Any nicers in the track? Any what's nice? Let's go, baby. Here we go, we're about to kick things off here. Map one, Ascent between Gen G and 100 Thieves in his best of three, a lower round of two matchup. It's gonna be a good one. It's down to steal with the operator. We've seen great things from him. He's gotta do it again. Finds the shot, the one versus one, and again, he will not miss. Love this, instead of folding back, what like you might expect, they know they have to get early kills. Oh, the jump peek is genius. Toast off out. Seeing what he can find, looking for the 1v1. And he's gonna find it, my oh. god, Asana! That's insane! Just one more to go as he buys time, working his way back around 410. And he's gonna see, say, ah. he's gonna take him down. It goes from bad to worse here for 100 Thieves as they start to fall until there is just no more. And it's all Gen G. They eliminate 100 Thieves and take out 100 Thieves. I felt like we could have made top three, and uh, I think that was like attainable. Yeah, like we played Gen G twice leading up to this uh, Masters event. We beat them both times and then uh, we fell short here. I think in part it was because we had already played them twice and there was like more footage about us. And also we just definitely played poor as hell. <laughs> and uh, I think that if we, you know, if we were to, to play them again today, for example, I don't, I don't have any doubt in my mind that would, you know, beat them and, and move to the next, I think. I think we just need to find our identity, I feel like. Right now, especially with Astra coming in, feels like we don't know, like individually even, we can't come to a conclusion of what we want to like 
B. Yeah, like we don't know even know what Nick's or Ethan's good at. Like so it's even harder. Like at least like if you bring in a. Like, all we know is that he has good aim. Yeah, all we know he has good aim <laughs> and, and he knows how to play the game. CS experience. Yeah, CS experience. Yeah, we pretty much went into this tournament with a band aid on the team, and so now we're ripping the band aid off and hopefully it healed a little bit. <laughs> like for all we know, he's the best sky player in NA. Could be. Right? Could be. Nick's gonna be playing Brimstone. You heard it here first. No, we already tried that. Oh, we tried. We, we scrapped it after two days of practice. <laughs> People could hear me across the map. <laughs> stomp, stomp, stomp. No, we're we're in a. I I think we're all pretty confident. I don't think anyone's super defeated after uh, our performance this last event. And I definitely think it's uh, time for us to kind of go back to the drawing board and see exactly what went wrong and what we can actually change uh, so that it doesn't happen again for the next Masters. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, remember to, to leave a like, a subscribe, comment on if you liked seeing this type of content and see if you want to see anything else from us, any questions specifically. Cool. Poggers. Cool. Poggers. Poggo. Cool, okay. man. <laughs> That's one way to end the video.